Right, it's uh, 10 to 9 in the morning. Uh, round 7 of the Southern League and opens at uh, Eastleigh Beach in Portsmouth. Yeah, special one today. Ian Gold's Memorial is going to be a big one. I think we've just got just under 100 people here. <laughs> first in then. I've never been first to draw, Ian. Uh, well, what we're going to do first is going to pull a peg for Ian first. So, Tony, oh. Tony O'Grady, who's made, who's made today's trophy. Fair play to him. So we'll thank him for that's that. That's a good trophy, isn't it? Yeah, that's lovely, that is. So he's paid for his entry, but he wants it to be in his name, so we'll... Yeah. We'll pull the first peg for him. <laughs> there he is. Peg 78. 78. All right, you can go next to him. Right, here we go, mate. 57. 57. So I guess you'd be around here somewhere. Do you reckon? Oh, that's quite handy. There you go, Jim. First one in. Cheers, Good mate. Luck. Cheers, in. Who's next? Yeah. Paul Hazley. Paul Hazley. Hazley. <laughs> Got a proper haircut on the go, look. Ian's going to get one of them. <laughs> it's coming. Yeah. I'm not sure about the blue. <laughs> Was Sam here today? No, he broke his fingers yesterday. Oh, did he? So, um, he's all strapped up and can't play ball. Oh dear, how did he do that? Basketball. Oh. So he bent his fingers back next to him in the hospital. Like well, last night. get well soon, Sam. Yes, yes. <laughs> one less to beat. Yeah, well, yeah, that's put me up one position, so that's always good. <laughs> 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 Here's Lee, look. Morning. Local venue, so this is this year you're going to do well, would you say? I'm going to weigh in, that's all I'm going to say. No, I'm not even going to say that. It'll be all right. I think I'm on 57, so I'm literally going to be over there somewhere, I think. Happy days. Is that all right, Jim? Sandy. Fish yeah. Coming. Well, we'll have to see how it goes, um, on me, bud? Right, um, yes, yeah, so I've got peg 57, so uh, I'm parked pretty much um, opposite where I'm going to fish, which is handy. Um, yeah, we'll just have to see how the day goes. Let's go and get set up, and um, yeah, let's hope for a few fish, because some of the recent matches have been, uh, well, pretty poor. <laughs> Right then, we're all set up, ready to go. 20 past 11, kick off at 12 till 5 today. Um, Lee Gatchel's a few pegs down. Um, is his local area, he reckons there might be a few fish close in, so um, we kind of have to see what happens. I've got uh, lots of flapper rigs, you know, quite small hooks, uh, and that's kind of the approach we're going to be going with some ragworm, got a few blow lug if needed. I have brought a little bit of mackerel as well. I've got some pop-up rigs in case we've got some gars come in. I don't know if they'll be garfish here or not. Um, I think my match fishing has gone so bad recently, it'd be just nice to come out, catch a few fish, just have a nice time and kind of enjoy it and not worry too much about it really. Uh, oh look, got some new Southern League and Opens uh, polo shirts which are really nice, just picked mine up today, I think they're £15 if you want one, speak to Nick on Facebook or the Southern League and Opens sort of Facebook group, which is where you kind of need to go if you want all your information if you want to fish the Southern Leagues. Um, so there has got all my pop-up rigs ready there, I've got some garfish rigs which I might get out later, uh, and, and just lots of uh, sort of, we've, I've got some uh, clip down rigs if needed, but I can't really cast very far because my shoulder's not very good still, so um, it's just going to be really using flapper rigs close in, small hooks, worm baits, 
Um, I think there should be some bream around. I've got some with pop-ups, some without. Um, yeah, we'll see what happens really. Um, it's just nice to be out. It has just started raining. I haven't brought my waterproofs, which is not a good thing. Uh, I don't know why I didn't bring my waterproofs. It all looked like nice and summery when I got out of the car. Uh, and now it's kind of not, we're in a big cloud. Um, but yeah, water looks good. Feeling hopeful, I guess. <laughs> I always feel hopeful at this time of the match before it starts. Uh, it's a couple of hours in, I normally start panicking, but I, I think the name of the game, just a few fish. First cast, one minute, right? And you won't believe it. Massive seal <laughs> swimming straight in front of my peg. Literally within a minute where I cast, which is a not, <laughs> not a good sign. What are we going to catch then? Oh, we're certainly going to catch a cold. Yeah. <laughs> We'd rather be some bream here, wouldn't there? Uh, apparently, there's some bream, some red mullet. Red um, might that be nice. There might be some gurnard, there could be some schoolies, uh, there's going to be some gars. Do you reckon there'd be gars out there? Um, it looks gary. It does, yeah. It's got to be worth a go. Nice, flat and calm for gars, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Definitely. So yeah, no, a pop-up rig or some other concoction. <laughs> I'm sure there'll be all sorts going out. There's all sorts of weird rigs, isn't there? Especially when it gets to gar fishing, everyone seems to be a bit different. Yeah, I've got a tube rig set up on the other rod. Yeah. Um, so we'll give that a go. But so yeah, see what comes out. To be honest, I'm just here, kind of pleasure fishing. Thought I'd come along. Yeah. Um, obviously it's Ian Memorial match, so first match I've done for probably five years. Is it really? Match. <laughs> Had a bit of fun in the garage at six o'clock, so I'm trying to find stuff. <laughs> I've got crap everywhere. <laughs> Let's see. Well, we're two hours in. I haven't seen a fish yet <laughs> with my own eyes. Lee Gatrell, uh, about one, two, three, four peg stands, caught two undersized bream. Um, and there's a few other reports of a couple of undersized bream, but I've not actually physically seen a fish yet. Um, we've been trying to flap a rigs close in. I've tried to clip down rigs a bit further out. We've tried to pop up rigs. We've tried every bait you can probably get for sea fishing. <laughs> but the good news is, I mean, I've heard down the low numbers a couple of gurnards and things. So if I could pick up uh, a sizable gurnard or a, a sizable bass or something, because there's so little being caught, I could pull up a result with a single decent fish. Um, if that will happen or not, is debatable. But uh, we want, we're going to keep trying. The rain stopped. Uh, having quite a nice time, even though fishing is very, very difficult. Uh, what have you had, Lee? Two bream. Two bream? Three, I think. Three, yeah. undersized? Yeah. So, uh, I haven't really heard of anything apart from uh, the same as that. You had any bites? Uh, I had one bite on a pop-up rig. Um, but it could have been weeds. <laughs> yeah. I'll just come off the car here again. I yeah. But there's a girl that's next to me and a few bream further up. Crane is doing all right, isn't he? Is he? What's he got? Uh, 28 bream and a couple of smooth ounce, unless it's just a vicious rumour. Smooth ounce, is he? Yeah, because they're down in by the blocks and the kelp. So uh, the shelters a lot of fish down there. It was a good place to be today. Yeah, well, I, I still haven't actually seen a fish in my own eyes yet. No. <laughs> Wow. And that's all the pegs around me. I haven't seen anything. No, it's fishing for our zone, aren't we? Yeah, I mean, the good thing is it's so hard. If I can pick up a sizable fish, <laughs> then you're in it. Yeah, yeah, a nice fat red mullet. Yeah. Or a nice fat gurnard. But I just keep trying for these gar uh, garfish to the ends. Because as the tide turns, they come out of the harbour and they might come down the beach. But I just need that sun to come out. Thank you. 
Have you caught anything yet? No. Oh, was it? Oh dear. Wow. Well, well, I'm blanking, he's blanking, the bloke next to me is blanking. <laughs> Not great, is it? Not great, but there's still time. Yeah. There's still hope. Yeah. And because it's quite quiet in our zone, we only need a fish, really, and we could well, be in. That chat's had two or three, I think. Has he? Russ has just had a nice black green. Has he? Yeah. Did you have a win in your zone in the last one? Yeah. You did, with a smooth hound? Yes, I did. Well done. That's a great achievement, isn't it? Yeah. Well my, done. My first ever one in size. Was it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, so well done. It's the first one inside. Well done you. Thank I'm very you. jealous. <laughs> now we're coming to see a pro. I reckon you missed a quarter fish, haven't you? Uh, I wouldn't call myself a pro. <laughs> I had two gurnards and two top hats. That's good. I mean, I'm blanking. Everyone's blanking from there for about four or five pegs. <laughs> right, okay. Well, Jack next to me has had three green top hats. He's that rusty, isn't it? There's a few other fish further wrong. Darren, you another hound. Did he? How That's big? Pound. Did he? <laughs> of course so, he yeah. did. Yeah, right. <laughs> Newland's always dragged something up, did he? Yeah, another bring. Yeah, there we are. But we've got a fish on the camera. It's the first fish I've physically seen. I see there's a few swimmers decided to jump in. Yeah, we've got some swimmers. <laughs> Double shot there. <laughs> Oh, it took a while, but yes! <laughs> I was just saying to Chris Snow, oh, I wish we were ashore and catching golden grey mullet. Beautiful, caught on blow lug, free hook flapper, bottom hook. Yes, that's. I think that's 22 ounces, which is a game changer in a match like this. Absolute game changer. That means I'm doing really well in my zone now. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Oh. Oh, three nine, mate. Happy with that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. Mullet. Oh, they're all the same mullet unless it's red. So mullet. Thirty nine. 39 is 22. Three minutes left. I think that could be it. I've not really seen any more fish coming up around me. It's been tricky, but I'm really, really happy. I might have something on the last cast, you never know. But if not, can't really complain. Beautiful calm. It was all misty when we got here. You can see the Isle of Wight behind me. Beautiful day. Good match. Let's see um, where I've ended up. I probably did all right. I reckon I could have did all right. Um, either way, really, really, really happy. Thanks to everyone who donated prizes. Thanks to everyone who bought, whether they're here or not. We seem to be taking home just as much stuff as we brought today. So. Maybe we'll have another raffle at the next match. <laughs> we'll make it a um, we like to try and make this event a, a once a year thing. So Tony, who stood at the back there, has very kindly handmade this trophy, which will get a plaque on it for the winner this year. He can keep it for a month and then see if we can keep it going for... Well, they don't trust them, can we? Can't trust them. Don't bring it back, we'll lose it. So let's hope we can... Uh, Keep that going for whatever length of time this league lasts. So, and uh, Ian's daughter's here this evening, so she's going to present it to the winner tonight. So the winner of the match from peg ninety nine with a weight of eleven pound fourteen, Darren Kramer. Yay!
Cool, lovely. Thank you very much. Cool. So he's a winner of Iron Noodle. And again, Tony, thanks for making that. It's brilliant. Thanks, Tony. Yeah. Thanks, Tony. So the heaviest fish. Um, I don't believe there was a flatfish caught again this year, this match. Longest gurnard on the night was Breeze. a third. Breeze. Breeze. Oh, is it? Yeah. I'll have to redo that. <laughs> 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 Sorry, Dan. <laughs> oh, it would have been me. It would have been you. <laughs> I'll do the bream another day because there's too many to go through and I just run off with all the cards, so tough. Thanks for everyone for coming. We've raised, I reckon we've raised the best part of 70 million to 50 quid today, so well done. Thanks, Jimmy. <laughs>
and uh, there was a lot of prizes and it was you guys that donated them so thank you thank you so much uh, i'm gonna run through some thank yous i know i'm gonna miss people um before we go on to that i, I think a big thank you to all the guys that run the Southern League and Opens. I mean, I am a committee member. I just make these little videos now. I'm not that massively involved. But like Geordie, who's a committee member, couldn't even fish the match, but he pegged the match, but wasn't fishing in it. Darren Kramer's always out pegging as well. Um, we've got Ian Dancy, just all the sign on and sorts all the results at the end. What a hard job. Who would want that job? I mean, it's really hard. Uh, you've got Mike Grooves as well um who is all often out pegging um you know it's just it's really is a team effort and a massive thank you to nick who runs the league because i know nick deals with most like 99 of inquiries like, like hundreds of inquiries before each single match um it's a lot of work that nick has to put in to run the league uh and it's just worth saying a massive massive thank you in the comments below do, do just wish just say thank you to everyone please do because then committee members do work extremely hard i can assure you i'm in some of the whatsapp groups and there's so much work that goes into organizing these matches right raffle prizes um a big thank you to uh darren phillips pondestra's fishing shop ben arnold uh andy smithson angela tommy's tackle robbie gin lolly perry barbara golds hazel from hookers baits um bill baines uh b -b -b simon adams kev warner lot stock the fishing shop um there was a lot of people that donated prizes um we raised over two thousand pound two thousand and thirty five pound i believe which is uh, a brilliant achievement that'd be going to ian's fund to help uh the junior international anglers um i believe sol pays uh, gave um a, a big cash donation as well at the end so thank you ever ever so much uh, and i'm sure that i have missed some people and i do apologize for that i've tried to get everyone in uh you see this um gone fishing sign ian's uh daughter becky makes them i don't know if she's still making them you can find her on instagram um hit me up and i can send you a link to her but um yeah, all the profits from that go to Ian's uh, charity as well. And I must admit, they're really cool. I think it only costs about a tenner with postage and everything. And it's a, a beautiful uh, wooden sign. Um, yeah, she's a wonderful artist, Becky. And it was um, yeah, it was lovely to meet her as well. And as I said, uh, the whole family, it was um, yeah, a wonderful, wonderful day. But onwards and upwards, the next one will be at Goring by Sea, West Sussex, in Worthing, over my way. And I think it could be a go big or go home match. You could expect to see a £30 conga caught in that match. Or oh, will it be me? Can we get it on video? It's going to be a big fish match, I think. Big rays, uh, possible big bass. Um, yeah, they've been down there practicing the last few days already uh, and their eels are already starting to come up. So we'll see what the weather conditions are like, but it's worth describing just so uh, you can see that match because, as I say, it could be go big or go home. Thanks for watching, gang. And we'll be back very soon. We've got loads of matches coming up through autumn. It's going to be good. It's going to be busy. Hopefully, we can have some more good results.